Guys, we're doing something absolutely insane for the holiday season, and we're gonna be throwing in these keys into a random order all the way up until midnight tonight. And these keys right here are for this 2024 brand new Outlander 700 right here. So when you get these keys in your order right here, one of you guys will arrange the rest. So don't worry about any of that. This sucker right here is an absolute beast, but we'll talk about it a little bit later in this video. Also guys, 20X entries are ending tonight at midnight as well for this 2024 Ram 2500 along with $35,000 cash. Don't miss out. Check out all the official rules on goonsquad.com. Copy some gear, get automatically entered, and you might just be the one. You guys might've seen some Easter eggs where we spelled out something with some vegetables. And what did that spell, honey? Baby. And you know what the best part is? It's full electric. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage. And as you guys know, we launched this giveaway right here and it is up for grabs, guys, along with $35,000 cash. We've got all sorts of epic stuff on the website and we are running 20X entries up until Cyber Monday. And what else are we doing today, dude? Dude, we're doing all sorts of epic things today. So we're probably gonna do some stuff to the Dodge. Yep. You know, we wanted to do some uh, color matching on the front grill, which will look really good. And also we may do some things to the Ford. We, we might do a little tune to that Ford right there. You know, it's got just the stock exhaust on it. We might throw a little exhaust tip on it. Yeah, just get that whistle a little bit cold louder. Cold air intake. We got a few little like, upgrades that we want to do to yes, it. Yes, sir. And also right here, look at what we got, the Raminator. We might actually start with the Raminator. We got some Dude. crazy upgrades to the sucker. You guys are sleeping on this sucker right here. This is an epic build right here. It's an RC car, but this is the biggest RC car you can get right and it's here. It's going to be the fastest here in a little bit, dude. Yes, sir. We're, <laughs> we're upgrading this motor from, I think, a 50 to an 80 cc, and then there's a few other upgrades. It's going to be insane. It's going to be insane, and we haven't even got to ripping this sucker like we wanted to, so nope. we might start off with that, and then we're going to get to the big trucks or the bigger trucks later. Right there is a motor man look at that thing man that's crazy right there i believe that sucker is full billet from the bottom end to the top end i it, think this part is still right here so it's just a billet aluminum motor with a steel piston area because it's gonna get hot because this thing 80 cc's i think it goes like 60 plus miles an hour on this thing is gonna be insane dude, dude. that's what this car needs i mean that one original motor right there that thing is a piece of junk i think it's like what fifty dollars yeah you can copy one of these brand new for 50 bucks but i mean it's weak i mean for a big truck like this you want some power and you want to have fun this was fun but this is going to be funner this dude. is going to be <laughs> insanely fun right here and this sucker right here cost us I think $3,000, which is just insane. But honestly, I think it's gonna be worth every penny once we fire it Oh yeah, it up, I mean, this is, this is the only company that produces a motor like this for this truck right here. And they produce all sorts of motors. We just went with the 80cc. They even do 50cc built motors. But this is the ultimate right here. It's sick, it's the best looking motor. I mean, look at that, man. It looks beautiful inside here. And I believe the exhaust is now is gonna come up from the top. Would you look at this exhaust, man? It's like something you get off your 125 dirt bike, man. <laughs> That's crazy right there. And this is all from Taylor RC. They do some amazing like fabrication and just all the stuff that dude, they do is amazing. You dude, know what I built mean? Built engine, built exhaust. This is this is gonna sound so good when it's just flying past you, man. Dude, I'm so excited to actually get this sucker fired up, put together, and just go ripping. It's gonna be so wild. Can't wait, what else do we got left on this I mean, on this now thing? we're just gonna go ahead and start buttoning things up, just basically piecing it together. The hard part was getting the motor in here and swapping a bunch of stuff out. I mean, lots of bolts were stripped, so we kind of just had to cut a bunch of stuff. But good thing this motor comes with a bunch of new bolts. Piece it all together, now we just gotta throw in the fuel tank, 
pull it and see if Dude, it starts. <laughs> somebody like went crazy with some Loctite on this thing too, yeah, man. Yeah, it went crazy. I mean, all the stuff was just getting stripped, but good thing you actually bought a bolt pack for the Raminator RC. So we got a bunch of bolts out there, extra bolts, because we're gonna get this thing ripping, dude. Ripping we're gonna be breaking stuff. <laughs> dude, this is an expensive hobby. This right here cost us around $6,000. For RC. What? <laughs> That's right, Pops. Dude, you can get a four wheeler for that much, but RC remote control is always fun. There's just nothing like it. Pops <laughs> yeah. can't believe it. But anyways, I say we keep moving and boy, get this thing together. Fire it up. thing is loud dude, that thing is insane it's louder than a dang dirt bike right there dude, dude. <laughs> I, earlier i tried holding the tires because we were just going to try to just start it up and that was a huge mistake i could not hold them suckers back yeah dude. we're having an issue with this it's just giving full throttle right now and when i go in reverse it releases the throttle so it's kind of weird trying to figure it out and then when i give gas it hits it the brake hits the brake so i don't know what's going on maybe we misplug something but we just got to go through but other than that motor starts beautifully dude. and it sounds beautiful and oh my goodness the torque is insane when you hold it you can feel that power dude, man it wants to go dude once we figure out this dude i'm telling you it's not it's gonna go fast it man. is also we do got to go ahead and throw on the brakes because i noticed that like one of these is um you know kind of messed up it's missing a bolt we need to maybe fix that fix, fix a few a few more things dude Fix a few more things, fix this, and then we'll be able to rip 100%. What, what kind of remote is that? Is that from like some sort of- I have of... no idea. Maybe we need to just go get a better one or something. I wonder if we can go junk. get like a nice remote. This thing is just, I don't even know how to use it. Look, I mean, a chihuahua done chewed on it saw, right there. And it spins randomly and stuff like that. Definitely probably need to upgrade the, the remote control. But other than that, man. This thing sounds healthy. It, it fires up. My goodness it sucks we just cannot figure out these controls man yeah they're all in reverse i mean everything is just going backwards we even went on the remote and you can put normal or reverse we did everything we swapped it all still nothing we swapped wires still nothing everything we did i don't know what it is maybe it's a super dead battery right here you know because yeah our battery is not fully charged but still it's kind of weird you know what i mean i mean it, you never know honestly this car was used previously owned by somebody who knows maybe they ran it through three foot of water or something so all this stuff is could have got damaged like computer receivers modules and stuff and receivers stuff, yeah we already mentioned the remote so honestly dude i think we should have bought a brand new raminator 
and then bought this brand new motor and maybe we would have been good I, I mean i don't know though but these are hard to get yeah these are hard to get and a lot of parts for this thing are hard to get they're out of stock as well so that's how we waited so long before we could uh, get back on this thing because we we're waiting on servos and stuff like that but i think it's something simple you know we just need some professionals you know yep. what i mean <laughs> we need some professional help to get this sucker popping wheelies and jumping Ripping high around dude all righty guys so no look on that rc car trying to get the controls to work properly honestly i think that was just a financial mistake right there the rc car the motor that was a good move i think right there honestly but you know what we'll figure the controls out a little bit later we just uh you know we literally spent all day putting that motor in and then trying to figure out the controls which was kind of a bummer but we'll get it figured out guys right now we're up on the mountain right here we got the giveaway truck and also we got the trailer with something inside we actually purchased a four-wheeler for one of you guys this thing is just absolutely epic you weren't there when i went to pick it up but i was in the dealership and it just was a beautiful piece of equipment i think you can call it a piece of equipment and just a fun 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 machine that's what it is it's just all in one you can work with it you can play with it if you have like a field or if you want to just go out in the trails look at what we have right here dude. and you can hunt with it look at that thing man exactly it's full camoed out this thing is just beautiful right here look at the headlights on it too let me turn them suckers on dang Let's leds leds and you know what the best part is it's full electric <laughs> electric power steering i'm just rolling right now but yeah dude, this thing is epic you haven't even driven it i've driven it just a little bit and this thing is the smoothest thing i have ever been on just literally dude, when you go down those trails over there dude you don't even feel any of the bumps it's beautiful man dude that is a sick four it's a 700 dude that's just insane it's perfect man this thing looks so good almost sad to see it go man. i know dude <laughs> i really want to keep it for us but you know what it's too late now we already made our decisions we're going to give it to one of you guys and look at the detail of this camo this is what i noticed i mean look at that you can see a whole entire like pine tree yeah, right there a dude pine cone right there man that is insane <laughs> this thing is pretty fast pretty freaking powerful four-wheel drive it's got the storage container in the back right here this was like extra goodies that it came with out the dealership right here dude, it's got a it's got a hitch attachment right there you dude know that I mean? is perfect right there for it's, everyday use dude exactly <laughs> it's got even storage right here as well it's got your little port for you know if you want to charge your phone you plug it in right there the that usb is port legit, man. super epic but the main reason why we're up here today is just to just to test it out a little bit and show you guys what how, this thing's made what this of. thing is made of what it's capable of and then we'll get to get back to work to the shop but i guess Let's go hit some trails. We got the perfect terrain. We got yes, the perfect sir. weather. It's just such a vibe up here, dude. It's nice to get away from uh, you know the shop a little bit and enjoy and, and enjoy yourselves. You know what I mean? Yep. Enjoy somebody's four wheeler right here, man. Pretty much. You know, <laughs> well, look at this, dude. You still got the little little stickers, all this stuff right here, dude. It's brand spanking new. Literally, this thing cost us almost twelve thousand dollars. So it was eleven thousand seven hundred, but I think it's worth every penny, dude. Dude, this is legit. Let's fire it up and get moving.
a ripper, dude. Oh like, my goodness, I can't keep up in a Raptor 700. That's dude. a Raptor 700, but this is a Raptor 700 on steroids, man. Yeah. This thing is just comfortable, dude. I feel like I'm gliding over everything, dude. Dude, I love this thing. We definitely got to get one of these for ourselves in the future, but man. Might have thing, to trade that thing in, man. Th that definitely would have been the better way to go instead of a Raptor. I mean, this thing rips, same CC, wait, but. Wait, wait, what if somebody wants that instead of this? <laughs> no, I'm hey, kidding. would you want to do that? Dude, I, I'm down, man. If, this thing is a beast, man. Hey, we are more than capable. It's up to the person that gets the key in their order. Dude. If you guys want the 700, instead of talk this, to him. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is just so capable. I just can't keep saying that enough, man. This thing's legit. I also need to hook up my boat and take it to the lake. <laughs> it got a hitch. Dude, it does got a hitch, man. You want to do that? What, you talking about the little John boat? I was talking about the big boat. Oh, you thinking a big boat? I'm sure this thing actually got a pretty crazy towing capacity. Super nice. Tires are perfect for this thing. I mean, you, you, you guys are seeing this. We're going through all sorts of terrain, leaves, dirt, everything. It's just eating it up, dude. Dude, I could literally take a nap right Honestly, now. Honestly, man, right these here, things are built for trailblazing. Dude, this thing is epic, man. This is so much freaking fun right here. Whoever's gonna get this thing, game changer, dude. Alright guys, so we just got done ripping outside with the four-wheelers and we came inside over here to make a quick celebration dinner. We put together, what did we have? Some pasta, some steak, fire, first off. Oh. But also, you guys might have seen some Easter eggs where we spelled out something with some vegetables and what did that spell, honey? Baby coming soon. 20, or, yeah. 2024. Or you said, I don't even remember what we spelled out, but 2024, we're having a baby, guys. It's gonna be super insane. We're gonna have a little one, literally, I can't even wrap my hand, head, head around it, you know what I mean? We're gonna have a little one running around, tearing stuff up, causing a ruckus. I don't know, probably not. I just wanted to break that news to you guys, and I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. But anyways, we're probably gonna go ahead, clean some things up, and uh, maybe I'll finish that pasta. I don't know, that was bomb. And uh, then we're gonna make it back to the shop and get some work done there.
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna make a quick stop to this RC place while Elazar is working on the F-250. This thing is about to sound insane. The F-250 is. Also, this thing is about to sound insane if this uh, this uh, RC place can actually get this sucker tuned in right. And hopefully, it's just some simple adjustments and we can have this thing ripping. Just, I don't wanna give up too soon. I wanna, I wanna show you guys this thing ripping. 80cc RC car, that's like a dirt bike with a remote powered by a remote control that's insane so just gonna just try to make this as productive as possible and just knock out two birds with one stone guys so we came back here because i i went here and i thought he fixed it and then i went back and it was still doing the same thing <laughs> it sucks man but you know what we're gonna get him to look at it one more time we're up Ooh. we're upstairs in their used department where they're like old antique rc cars are i mean look at that stuff man that's insane look that's at this big old fat airplane over here that's you, something i want one of these suckers what is this dude a bonnie it's called a bonnie right there. That's something I want. I'll fly this thing clean into a tree. I'll tell you what, I'm never, ever going to buy a used RC car. Never buy any used RC ever. Like, even airplanes, man. This stuff is just a headache, dude. Yeah, man. It's just, it's been an absolute nightmare. Just one thing after the other is just breaking on us. And you can't get those new, you know what I mean? I wish we could find a new one. We'd be like, take this one back. <laughs> dude, it would have been so much easier. We're just having to worry about all these little... I know, it sucks, Thanks, and we're dude. trying to do it for you guys. You know, it's an epic RC car. It's going to be insane whenever it's ripping around, but if we don't fix it, now you have to just grab one of these and just go with it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so today has just not been our day. We ended up just dropping that RC car over there at the place where we bought it. Hopefully, they can figure it out, and we can finally show you guys that thing ripping around. But as for this F-250, we got some stuff done. We're doing some exhaust work on the bottom right there, and also we threw in this cold air intake and also a charge pipe from black market performance that thing looks absolutely insane it's gonna sound much better and also look at this dude you can't tell me this thing wasn't choked up what is that dragonflies fruit flies butterflies every fly man every <laughs> fly right here but you know what with this system on it right now dude it's gonna breathe a lot better it's gonna sound a lot better and also let's walk over here we also got some other stuff from black market performance so we got some nice uh, fuel filters and also a water separator dude you gotta have this type of stuff especially on a diesel truck so can't wait to throw that on right now the only thing that's holding us back on this right here is a tune so we're trying to throw a little mild little tune at it and you already know we got hit with that elevator music right there dude it sucks man because it, it, it takes so long so this truck could sit for a couple of days that's the sucky thing about this kind of stuff exactly but you know what? we'll figure it out and this thing is going to be nasty dude let me just tell you that right there and as for the commons guys you know we didn't get to paint anything like we wanted because a few things came up but look at this something arrived in the mail and this is what we were originally supposed to get with this bds lift kit just a few little things happened look at that dude, shock right those there those are performer shocks right there so we have like some regular fox shocks but these are gonna make it way better and look better look at that dude, dude. that's a huge upgrade right there from that to this we're definitely going to swap it out for this right here and also we're going to probably do like all this chrome deleting in the next video as well i don't know finish painting up finish painting some it stuff up. you know we got some other goodies planned for this thing but also the main focus for us right now is finding a new build guys we have been on the lookout literally there's nothing on copart or iaa we have been just looking left and right so guys help us out help us find something email it to us send it in the dm we're really desperate for a new build guys but that's going to be a wrap for today's video thank you guys so much for all the love and support definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace